What is an Agile coach? What's a Scrum Master? Is there a difference between them? Yes, there is. Agile coach and Scrum Master are not the same. So in this video, let's look at the differences and the similarities of each. So an Agile coach is not a Scrum Master and a Scrum Master is not an Agile coach. I myself have been both. I was a Scrum Master and I remember it was around um, 2013 that I discovered Agile coaching and I was really surprised on how different it was from my stance then as a Scrum Master trying to help my teams adopt Scrum. And I have to say that discovering Agile coaching and the skills that came with that for me was a game changer in my career and in my connection with people as far as coaching, facilitation, listening and speaking. So I am obviously a little bit more biased, but that is probably a lot of confusion between Scrum Master and Agile Coaching because they are everywhere today in Agile Transformations. And if you look at the surface, some of the things that they do are kind of the same, like I said, on the surface. What are those things? As far as teams, they can teach teams, they can facilitate team meetings and um, you know, start up the teams, what we call sometimes Agile Liftoff in Agile teams. They overall facilitate team growth and team improvement. Stakeholders. Agile coaches and scrum masters do work with stakeholders, people who hold a stake at the work that's being developed. So how to help them prioritize work and break down work and understand the importance of feedback loops and that sort of thing. So they both work similarly in the arena. And individuals. Yes, both Agile coaches and Scrum Masters work with individuals on one-on-ones, you know, when someone is either curious or even resistant to Agile change and um, to support their growth and progress in the middle of an Agile transformation, it's definitely a good thing that you work with that person in an individualized way. And both Scrum Masters and Agile coaches do that. And ultimately, both Agile coaches and Scrum Masters lead by example. So if you say one thing and you do another, people pick up on that. If you are asking people to plan work in small batches and break work, uh, break it down in small pieces, but you yourself are constantly uh, swamped on work and very disorganized, that reflects in a very um, interesting way on your credibility. So there is the expectation that you are what you ask people to be. But like I said, those were the similarities and they are similarities on the surface because it's in the details that we see a lot of differences. So let's start with the differences by looking at the role of a scrum master. What are, you know, what is a scrum master? What do they do? Scrum masters live in scrum. Now, Scrum has evolved over way more than 20 years, but one thing that remains the same is that the expectation very well described in the Scrum Guide is that the Scrum Master is the person who um, teaches everybody how to use Scrum and how to work with Scrum. So you're definitely expected to know a lot of Scrum. Can you know any other flavor of Agile? Can you use Kanban? You can, of course but you cannot not know um, Scrum. That's really an imperative. Just think of the, the name of the role. So even when you think about when you deal with your stakeholders and when you're teaching teams, you are expected to really advance the state of Scrum in the organization and with the stakeholders. You're kind of like an evangelist of Scrum. And it's said that it's stated in the, um, the Agile, um, the, the, um, the Scrum Guide, even though it has evolved. Scrum Masters are embedded in the Scrum team. They reflect the, the accountability that is related to advance the state of Scrum within the organization, but also in the team. So they are teaching team members how to run Scrum and they are facilitating the Scrum events themselves. Um, of course, every team member can operate with a sprint retrospective and plan and deliver one. But if no one else can, the Scrum Master is the person expected to do that. Also, Scrum Masters don't have to know anything other than Scrum. 
it's it's hard to say it like this but the reality is that scrum master is a role invented defined for scrum it makes sense there and the only thing that the scrum master really is looking for is advancing the state of scrum and the understanding of scrum as an empirical process for people to get work done so while you can know a lot of other things, the reality is that you were not expected. And in fact, it would be a little bit weird to see a Scrum Master that is a little bit sufferable and doesn't really understand the Scrum events and how Scrum really works and the inspection and adoption cycle works, but is very good in, let's say, Kanban and flow management. So it's really a nature of how the role is defined. And don't even get me started a little bit if you're going to go with the scrum.org or Scrum Inc or Scrum Alliance and maybe even further. And then you start having safe and other places that also try and define the role of Scrum Master. So to the best of my ability, I stayed here focused on the Scrum Guide alone. Now let's take a look at the Agile Coach. What are those? What do they do? So Agile Coaching is a framework neutral set of stances. Stances are like hats, are like postures, and you use them according to the context. And it started with Lisa Atkins uh, a while back, and eventually it became part of the community. And today it is uh, you know, a codified framework under the Creative Commons license. It's a very well-defined one, and you're not gonna find many uh, diverging aspects of uh, you know what being an agile coach looks like. The stances are very similar, no matter where you get training or support. And basically, agile coaching looks into agile in general. We are talking values, we are talking principles. You can and you should know a lot more than that, but as far as agility goes, we take a neutral stance on it. We are not pro Scrum or pro Kanban or pro extreme programming, etc. Another thing that is very important and it is defined in the framework for Agile coaching is that before anything else, an Agile coach is an Agile practitioner, as in you are experienced in doing Agile. Maybe you are experienced in Scrum, but maybe you are experienced in extreme programming alone. You don't have to know Scrum and that's really not necessary for you to become a Scrum master at all. The very important thing that you need to to remember though is that in order to coach as an agile coach you have to know how to play the game so just like a hockey coach wouldn't coach if they never stepped on the ice arena agile coaches are not embedded in teams what that means is that yes sometimes we follow teams very closely and then we run a couple of iterations with them if they are running in an iteration base or sometimes we spend a whole month following a team but that is on a per case basis. As agile coaches, we come in and we contract, if you will, the outcome that the team or the individual wants to get, and then we see them to get in their way to accomplish that. So uh, it's not uncommon actually that agile coaches will be working with just a few individuals in a team or even individuals that don't work specifically in any team at all. That deserves a special mention. I know I said it before, but I wanna make it clear here. Agile coaches don't need to know Scrum. And it's very common that you see Scrum masters that do become Agile coaches. And there is a video coming on that in a blog post, of course, stay tuned. But the reality is that Scrum is but a tiny fraction of what Agile is. So, so long as you understand Agile from the trenches, you really worked on it. You know how to create valuable products, whatever your products are or your services. So you could have been a software developer or you could have been someone working in marketing. So long as you worked with Agility before and you really understand what works and what doesn't, then um, you have enough Agile knowledge to step up to be an Agile coach if you so wish. And I'm not gonna enter those two other stances here because they can be very big if I try to describe them, but they're extremely important. Coaching and facilitation are very key specific stances of an Agile coach. You definitely don't get that on a weekend training or anything like that. So it's something that you have to develop as you talk to people. And for the most part, these things take a few years for you to become 
uh, skilled on those things. And as an agile coach, you are expected to be highly skilled in those um, in those tenses. And applying them in practice has to do with understanding how to form partnerships with people and not necessarily trying to advance the state of any particular flavor of agility because you're there to help people make their own decisions and to define the elements of agility that will really make sense for their teams and ultimately for their organization. So that's it. That's the difference between Scrum Masters and Agile Coaches. Now, I do have an opinion on that, and I expressed it many times, and I'll say it again once more here, is that I think that any Scrum Master benefits from learning Agile Coaching skills. That doesn't mean you're going to change the name of your role or your profession, if you will, but I feel that those skills are really important. And they don't necessarily are skills that you develop or that you get from, let's say, a Scrum training, even if you are at training to become a Scrum Master. So I have a video coming up for that in which I say why and which skills I think every Scrum Master should be seeking from the stances of Agile Coaching. So stay tuned if that's something that interests you. For today though, this video is over. I'll stop here. It was long enough, but I hope it was useful. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like to hear more from the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.